Cam, I tried to ask this question on the Florida State show, but how long until you feel an ACC championship between Florida State and Miami will be regularly played? I don't feel that it's going to be get to the first played. one. Right. I mean, yeah, first of all, let's get to the first one. Second of all, I just think that they're so far behind that it would take a while. I mean, so I would say regularly, regularly as in what? We'll call it three out of five years that that happens. At least 15 years. I just don't think that they're – I don't – I mean, yeah, to, to with with that regularity, right, where it's back to, you know, the 90s and early 2000s. Well, I mean, all of all of that time, but where both Miami and Florida State are elite and the top, you know what I mean? So it's going back and forth and all those kind of things. I just don't – I mean, I think that there could be a time that that happens. I think that both teams can, you know, whatever, uh, get to towards that. But for – them more than us to be consistent at the top of that division because Clemson is not who Clemson was, but Clemson's still Clemson. And then NC State, they can have good years. Uh, you know, hey, Wake Forest even, you know, and for them to be competitive uh, in that kind of a way, I think that it would be a while. And I think that keeping it to the while would be Florida State from that, not Miami, even with the fact that 17 years in Miami's only been to one ACC championship game. And I know people are going to say that. I know people are probably going to clip that. And I know that FSU sites are going to be pissed that I said that. I don't give a shit. I'm right. Be mad. Well, we don't know that you're right. I'm right. I'm right. I said what I said. Okay. My examples are going to be Pete Carroll, USC, Mac Brown, Texas. Those were marginal situations mm -hmm. those were six win football teams that had been slumping usc the latter half of the 90s texas okay. the same thing and boom they straightened them out I'm, in a hurry i don't think that mike norvell is in the conversation with either of those well it might not be him like okay. you're talking about 15 years from now well, he might well, be gone I, in two years i mean for florida state's sake they probably hope that for my sake i hope that he sticks around Because usually the guy that turns it around, especially at a place that has resources, it happens in a hurry. Very true. You know, it's a slow burn with Mark Stoops at Kentucky because he had to do so much. It's a heavy lift, but shoot, Florida State. And that's a basketball school, you know, like clearly, clearly basketball school, Kentucky, that being. Um, but he's done a really good job. Uh, I'll go back to this uh, question here, and I'll remind everyone, uh, please like the videos, share these videos out on social media, let people know that we're here all the time, or just talk to people that you know. Say, hey, Wednesday night at uh, 7 o'clock Eastern time, be here. And, uh, of course, you can uh, support a number of ways. Uh, Venmo, PayPal, and Cash App, Mark Rogers TV is what you search, or right here with the Super Chat. Deneric, which player, players, will have to step up their game since the transfers came in. Everybody at the positions that they play, particularly defensive line. Those are in the non-Leonard Taylor division because he's at the top of the roster. He is, you know, five-star, top three player in, all, uh, in America recruit. You know, he's probably, I mean, he's a sophomore this year, so two more years in the first-round draft pick. Like, he's like that. But everybody else on defensive line, especially, yeah, mm -hmm. I would be, I'd be looking at that. Um, <clears throat> you know, we already saw wide receiver has some of that. Dazzling Worsham, uh, you know, actually showed pretty well that he's getting back to to form from his high school All American time. But even he uh, has decided to go in the transfer portal. Uh, you know, a little bit. I think it was like right after the show last week. Um, but you know, record setting wide receiver in high school. And you bring in, um, you know, uh, Ladson and everything. And, okay, he's sought shelter elsewhere. Um, but, yeah, uh, on, in, also in addition, I would say anybody who's not starting on offensive line uh, because you bring in Logan Sagapolu, um, and he looks like he is figuring to start um, just because people move in – a backwards direction from defense when he gets their hands, his hands on them. So, uh, yeah, I would say, you know, the interior offensive lineman because he plays an interior position and defensive line pretty much across the board, uh, non-Leonard Taylor. 
those would be the players that I would say need to step their game up because of the guys that we brought in at the top of the roster in front of them. 